Hey, what's going on everybody? The reviewer is here and I'm back to give y'all this album review of Aaliyah, One in a Million. I told y'all I was gonna get this album, man. I mean, it took me a while to find it, but I finally got it, all right? And this is the real deal. Y'all know how I do. And this album came out in 1996. This is her second album. And the producers of this album were Timberland. I'll put all the producers in the description box. And the features was Timberland himself, Tretch from Naughty by Nature, Slick Rick, Missy Elliott. Now, y'all saw me review the last album called Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. That was her first album, and this is her second. All right? So, I'm going to go with the songs now. The first track is called Beats for the Streets. This is a real blazing track right here from Aaliyah. She does the thing with the vocals. Awesome. Then the next one is called Hot Light Fire. This is also a pretty nice track from Aaliyah. I think they have a remix to this. I don't remember how the remix sounds, but they say it some people say they like it better than the original regardless i like Aaliyah, so this song is pretty nice to me then the next one one in a million the actual name of the track <laughs> are y'all ready for this this is a amazing track right here this is pretty much a classic you know that beat is blazing Aaliyah come through with the great vocals and there's also a video for the song as well which i love by the way I remember, I'm going to have to reminisce a little bit, sorry guys. I remember that I was in school, in middle school, and we all tried to copy this beat on the desk, you know, using our pencils and pens, trying to copy this beat. Like, this beat is insane, man. But anyway, let me go down. A Girl Like You, this song is pretty nice. This features Tretch from Naughty by Nature. He comes through with a nice verse. And Aaliyah does a thing as well. And this song is from an old school album as well. Or old school song, I should say. Then the next one is If Your Girl Only Knew. This is another nice track from Aaliyah. She does the damn thing with the vocals. And I like the content of the song as well. This song is really nice. Timberland did the thing with the beat. Then Choosy Lover is the next name. And they have what's called the old school and the new school. Y'all know Choosy Love is a really nice song. And this one is, is really nice as well. Aaliyah has some great vocals on this song. And then after a while, they change it to the new school version that sounds a little more up to date. And it's really nice. I like the change up. Got to Give It Up is a really nice song as well. This features Slick Rick. And it's a really good song man slick rick comes through with a vocals Aaliyah does the thing as well it's a nice party track if you're not feeling this song man i don't know what to tell you <laughs> the next one is called four page letter this is a really nice song as well from Aaliyah, and she's talking about writing a four page letter to a guy that she has a crush on and it's really nice i i really like the content of this song it's definitely original Everything is going to be alright is a really nice song as well. That hook is very catchy. And she comes through with the nice vocals like she normally does. And like I said, the hook is very catchy. If you're not singing this hook by the end of the song, I, I'll be surprised. The next one is called Giving You More. And this song is also nice. And she comes through with the great vocals. Nice beat, by the way. The next one is called I Got Your Back. And this song is really nice as well. It almost sounds like some type of TLC type song. If you I don't know if you if that makes sense or not, but she comes through with the great vocals and all that stuff. Then I'm gonna go down to Heartbroken. Man, this is definitely one of my favorite tracks off of this album, man. I really 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 love this song right here I love this song to death man and I remember playing this song for the first time 
that beat is so funky, man. Like Timberland did a real good job with this beat. And Aaliyah come through with the great vocals as he's expressing how she was hurt. You know, I think a lot of us can relate to this song, man. I've been heartbroken before. I mean, if you haven't been heartbroken before, it's, it's a horrible feeling, but it's something to experience. Check this song out when you get a chance. I love this song, man. Ladies in the House. This is also a really nice song as well. That beat goes hard. Timberland is also is on here and Missy Elliott. They come through with some nice vocals. Missy Elliott come through with a short little verse. He does her thing. I might review one of her albums in the near future. Probably her first one. So be on the lookout for that. And then the last one is called Came to Give Love. This is the outro. This is a really tight outro, man. Elysia basically giving a shout out to her fans and all the listeners who check this album out. It's a great little dedication in a nice beat, should I add. All right, so that's all the songs that I review for this album. To pretty much rate this out of a 10, I will give this 9, 9.5 out of 10. And if those say it's a classic, I will agree with you. This is probably one of my favorite albums in R&B ever. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody and their mother, I mean, everybody and their grandma should have this album. I, I should say great grandma. <laughs> this is the first R&B album that I actually listened to. I think a lot of y'all should get this album with the quickness because the, the price value of it is going up. Unfortunately, I, like I said, luckily I found this one and I should say rest in peace to Leah, man. Unfortunately, she died. You know, she got killed in the airplane crash. I said this before in another review, but may she rest in peace. I will always enjoy her music, man. Like, she really was an inspiration to me listening to R&B because honestly, I didn't like too much R&B back then, to be honest. Until I heard Aaliyah and then there was a few other singers as well. That made me start really loving it. A shout out to all the producers and all the features. All right. Please pick this album up. And if you get a chance, it's a must have. All right. Much love to the real folks. And I'll be on here back with another review. All right. Peace out.